we're gonna walk from the ladybug house down to the gondola and include lots of points of interest on the way Let's start with the arts district directly across the street and i would take a right on ridge we walk right past cup of joe meta yoga studio for when you want to do yoga in the summer you go right across the street in the park but in the winter it's up in the yoga studio and then there's the chopping block schedule your haircut massage and purchase some shop hair products there too and then we walk a good uh 50 yards to tin plate oh we're passing on the left the breckenridge theater where tonight they start a radio play of It's a Wonderful Life. That is a fantastic movie. My mother's favorite. It's one of my favorites, but now we're at Tin Plate. About to come upon Fatty's Pizza, where I enjoy their sandwiches and their salads. And they have pasta and pizza as well. It's a very popular place amongst the locals and people visiting. They're very friendly, love it. Now we're kind of coming up to Lincoln an intersection we're going to take a left and cruise on down to main street and we're going to pass the blue fish which i enjoy for happy hour they've got sushi and other japanese foods there oh, check it out there's the mountain in the background it is snowing i'm going to say it big time that's good for me tomorrow morning Today was good too because it snowed last night. Snow is coming. I'm patient and I can handle this. There it is, bluefish. Japanese food. Delightful. And then we're going to pass Salt Creek. I don't have a lot of experience there. So I can't speak to, I cannot speak to the Salt Creek restaurant. People like it, I think. So next up is mom's bakery and coffee house the pastries are european so that means that they are out of this world you know we're gonna stop check it out let's look at their hours that's worth a stop mm -hmm. pass mom's let's cruise on down to gian pietro which i like because they don't take reservations We just passed it. Gian Pietro, Italian food. No reservations. Now we're coming upon Main Street. We're gonna take a ride on Main Street, heading still to the gondola. Oh, and the street is blocked off because it's Uller Fest today. I'm pretty sure that Uller is the god of snow. We always need more snow in Breckenridge. If we go left, we'll stop here for a second. Pan left to the Carboy Winery and the Gold Pan Saloon. Those are fun. You want to get crazy. And the next to there is the Thai Bistro. Also across the street is the Breckenridge Top House where you need your tacos and a lot of beer on tap. I'll pan that way. Ready? We're going to pan. Panning, panning, panning. Look at that. Look at that. Thai food. Tap House. All right. Let's keep going. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Always running into people I know. It's a very small town here. It's the best. There's the Alpine Bank when you need the ATM for some cash. We're gonna cruise on up to Wellington. And what's important about Wellington is you can take a ride on Wellington from Main Street, walk up to the corner of French and Wellington and find the Fireside Inn. I don't know of a better place to stay for bed and breakfast treatment than the Fireside Inn. I stayed there about six years in a row. Met the most wonderful people from all over the world. And here is a local market, maybe the local market. See, the local market. On a normal day when they don't have the street blocked off for the shot ski, then we'd be on Main Street crossing over. We'll go down a little further and then cross over. But over on the other side of the street, let's pan, there we go. You got Carver's and then Rootstock. I heard the other day that Rootstock is the best restaurant. I can't speak to that, I've never eaten at it. I'm gonna have to check it out. 
My favorite would be Aurum for happy hour. And their food is so good. You go past Rootstock and there's the Simplest Cafe. Breakfast burritos and coffee. And you take that stuff to go. And then you walk down past the Woodland, which is a flower shop in Breckenridge. I love it. Nicole runs the place. And her husband Cody comes in and helps out quite a bit. It's back there down that. There you go. And it's a heated sidewalk, so it's always easy to get back there. Now, we're coming up to Watson Avenue. We're going to take a left because Watson Avenue is where Breck Station and the gondola happen to be. So now I get to turn left and go past For Real and get to the gondola. And that's where this walking tour stops. Crossing the street is easy because the street is blocked off. And I can feel the snow coming down, which is really good. Some of us get really, really, really excited instead of just two reallys, it's three reallys. Now let's go. I want to get up on the sidewalk, but there's a puddle of water. Over on the left is the new, for this season, parking garage. I might be making this number up, but I think it's got 900 parking spaces. I know there are some electric plug-in spaces for those with a plug on their electric car. So here we go, gondola. That's as close as we need to get. We made it in under seven minutes.